Okay, expanding on our project tutorials of the user login, we're going to need to know how um, the user can change their password, or we need to know how to give the user the option to change their password if they need, need to. So this shouldn't take too many uh, parts of um, video, probably two parts I think will be max. Uh, but what we're basically going to do is we're going to give the user a form, we're going to say to them type your old password and the new password twice, we're going to check their old password to the one that's in the database, remember they're encrypted, and we're going to compare their two new passwords to see if they match, see if they haven't made any mistakes, and then we're going to update the, the database, which we're going to use some new SQL code. So this is useful for that SQL code if you already know how to do the rest of it. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is start my session. So we can see in our member page we've got session start here. Uh, I'm just going to copy and paste that to the top of my page. So we've started our session. We're going to need this because we're going to need to set a variable called user, and that's going to be equal to the session that we've set uh, among, amongst the pages. Now we need to check that the user is logged in first, this is the code I was talking about, before we start to uh, change their password or let them change their password. So I'm going to set this as my user variable as my session username, which is here. Okay, now what we're going to just do is say if the user exists, we're going to give them the option to change the password. Otherwise, we're just going to say kill the page and say uh, you must be logged in to change your password. So you must be logged in to change your your password. Okay. So here is user is logged in. Okay, so the first thing we need to do, um, presuming the user has logged in, so we've checked for the existence of the login, we need to give them a form um, to fill out. So I'm just going to echo out some code and this is going to be a form. It's a self, um, it's a self um, submitting form, so it's going to go back to password, change password.php. So back to the page we're already on, and we're going to use a check inside this page to check um, all our details. Uh, the method of the form is going to be post, because we don't want to put any password information into the um, URL uh, bar. And we're going to create a few input boxes. So uh, old password. And what I'm going to do, this isn't going to be uh, this isn't going to be a password type, so it's not going to blank out the user's uh, entry. So input type equals text, uh, name equals old password, password. And I'm going to do a paragraph break, and I'm going to say new password, and create a input type as a password, so that's hidden from everyone. And the name of this is going to be new password. And then a break after that. And we can just basically copy this line down and just change a few things. So repeat new password and we just need to change the variable name of this to repeat new. Oh, we've already got a new password. So repeat new password. And then finally, uh, one last paragraph break and we need a submit button. Uh, the name of that is just going to be submit because we're going to need to check if that's been pressed. And the value is going to be change password. Okay, so let's go back to our page, and I'm going to stick a link in the members page um, in order for us to change our password. Um, I'll just log in using the details. My password at the moment is ABC, my username is Alex. As soon as I log in, it says you're in. And here we go, here's the member page. Our session's been set. We need log out, we can already log out, but we need another option to change our password. So I'm going to go back, back to our member.php member page, and I'm going to create a, another link. Um, so that is going to be change ooh, change password. And this is going to be linking to change password.php. So if we refresh this, we've got another option. Click it, and we've got our form that we've just created up. We've got our old password to type in here, and my new password here. Okay. Now at the moment, nothing happens. We click the form, nothing at all happens. Um, now what we want to do is we want to check for the fact um, has this been submitted or not? So let's tidy this up a bit. What we need to do here is create a if statement to say if post submit. Uh, this basically means has the user pressed this submit button? Um, the name is submit, so therefore we've got submit written here. Um, if the user has submitted, we're going to um, start changing our password. 
Um, otherwise, if the user hasn't submitted, all we're going to just do is echo out our code here. Because if the user hasn't already submitted, then they're going to need to be presented with the form here in order to submit the form. So let's just give that a check. Um, here what we're going to do is just echo out test to check that this works. And we can go back and we can fill in, so well we don't even need to fill in data at this time, but if I click the submit button, we get a, a, a echo out of test to show that our form has been submitted successfully. Okay, so we need to start changing the password. In fact, what we need to start doing at the moment is uh, check um, fields. Okay, so we've got our um, a couple of variables we need to set. We've got our old password, and that's going to be equal to posting the variable name of old password, as you can see down here in our form. And I'm just going to replicate these for each um, value that we've been submitting. Uh, the next one is new password, and then we've got um, repeat new password, and we'll just change these. Just being quite lazy. So, okay. So uh, to make sure these are all working, and I do recommend you do this all the time, is old password, new password, and repeat new password. What this basically does is just after we've submitted the form, it checks for the form existence, has it been submitted, and then we get our variables into our variable name. We get our get our post variables into our variable names, and I'm just going to echo out what we've typed in the box just to check that everything's working. So my old password is ABC. I want my new password to be one two three. Change password, and we've got ABC one two three and one two three. So all our form information has been submitted. I know I haven't spelled anything wrong, and from here I can be confident that I'm going to go on and just uh, get my user set up with a new password. Okay, I'm going to stop the video here. I'm doing short, shorter time videos now because it's quite long, 10 minutes from one video, and I'm also getting a bit of a time lag on these videos. So I'm going to stop it here, and in the next part, we're going to check for um, the old password uh, against the password in the database. And we're also going to check that the new password and the repeated password match. And then from there on, we can go and straight ahead change the user's password for them. Okay, so I'll see you in the next part of this tutorial. Thanks for watching.